burden of disease study is very important for two reasons, for medical reasons and for the social reasons also. In the case of Rett syndrome, there has never been a burden of illness study. The burden of illness is not only the burden for the individual, but it's the burden of the family. It's the burden of the community. That inability to function impacts that child's life and then ripples over into the family life and ripples into affecting the entire community that that individual is in, in terms of getting access to services, education, equipment, ability to maintain a job, ability to keep yourself physically healthy, to take care of your child. And I think the Burden of Illness survey will kind of get at some of those answers. I can't even explain the mental strain, the anguish, the constantly living on edge. It's, it's taken over every aspect of our life. She more or less needs one-on-one -on -one assistance in any situation because she can't feed herself, she can't change her clothes, she's not fully potty trained. She needs help with, with everything. She does not walk, she does not talk. She has a lot of the repetitive hand motions. You know, the constipation is really a problem. Her breathing has become really irregular. She does a lot of breath holding, pretty much 24 hours a day while she's awake. She is breath holding constantly. Her stomach is always distended. There's tons of air in her belly. I say that if there was one thing I could change about Rett syndrome, it would be the breath holding. Her breathing issues affect her balance, her posture, even her ability to communicate. When she's on her toby and trying to communicate, if she has a breath holding episode, we have to wait and pause because she needs to hold her breath. Or if she's trying to do an activity, everything stops for a breath hold. Jillian has seizures, she has scoliosis, she has a feeding tube, she eats nothing by mouth, she has no use of her hands, she doesn't walk, she doesn't talk. My wish for Jillian is um, for there to be some sort of treatment to alleviate even one symptom it would be incredible just to give her a better life than she has right now. I think the burden of illness survey will add that sense of urgency to why we can't delay in research, why we can't delay helping these kids. It's her living with it, but it's everyone around her who's also living with it. And I think that's what the burden of illness will really help us get that picture. To know that you have a group of girls that are locked inside of a body. I think one thing that that impressed on me is the need to never give up and always to focus on progress. It's always the next day.